This is week 20 of the Sloth Game development. It's been a pretty good week, and um, I mostly spent the week polishing and trying to put in the little details that kind of make the game a little bit more fun. Um, so a lot of that was kind of started out with like foreground objects, and I can kind of show you what if I just play level one real quick. So I added this additional extra grass here in the front, and I added some vines as well. You can see it's going to pass in front of your character. I just thought that would be pretty cool. Um, I also kind of changed some of the ads stuff, so I can show you that as well. I thought the ads seemed a little bit boring, so now I have this interface here that looks a little bit more enticing like you should click it and when you're actually playing the game it's a little bit more interesting because the icons change based on how many lives you end up getting um, let me go ahead and just reset this so i can actually show you more oh another big thing is the artwork for the cutscenes is done but i've implemented the animations but i'm not actually done with them but if I just play level 1, for example, I can show, you'll see the, like, intro cutscene. And there's no sound for a lot of it, which I'm kind of working on. But I think you kind of get the idea. The book thing, I, I think I'm going to keep for now. I don't know what else to do, like, it seems like an interesting way of showing it. And I think it'll keep people interested in just like the cutscene. So that's done, and I'm pretty happy with it. <sighs> what else? It seems like a long week. Um, I also updated the, the final boss. And I could play it, but I think there's just no reason to. I've, you've already seen it. But basically, the main updates that I made to the final boss level was I changed some of the geometry to make it more interesting. And now, when you play, you can only injure the Mandrake by falling on him. And then at the very end, you can kill him with the basket still. But um, there was like a lot of fine-tuning here just to get the Mandrake boss to be a little bit more fun. I just like wasn't 100% happy with it um, previously. But I think it's good enough now, and I think people will find it challenging and interesting and consistent. So, man, it feels like I did a lot more than that this week. And I'm sure I did, but wow, it was like kind of a long week. And oh, one major thing, which I just remembered why this week felt long. I can go to level six, which is the cave level. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna like keep going. I th there's like a hundred million different tiny things that I did, um, but I fixed, or I should say, I set up lighting. So now it's not just like one lighting the entire time. Actually, when you're outside the, of like an enclosure, it's like full lighting. If you drop, the light actually changes and your character has this like spotlight following him. And if you look closely, the spotlight actually has a like candle effect to it, which is kind of cool. I just try to make it a little bit more interesting if I could. Cave also has like this foreground now, um, which is like the spikes that you can pass by. Just thought it added a little bit more depth. I was trying to basically have like one depth thing per level, and what I mean by that is like the jungle should have the vines and the grass, and the cave should have the spikes, and the castle should have like chains. So now the castle has some hanging chains basically. Um, I also added these torches, which you can see, which are another light effect that also have like a flicker, which is cool. Um, these are the chains I was talking about that are hanging now, that you can kind of have some parallax foreground effect. Um, I had to redo the swinging chandelier animation because Originally it actually was an animation, like it wasn't just like a moving object. 
and now it is actually just a moving object that changes the animation based on the direction. And the main reason why is because it has candles on it and I wanted to add lighting effects to the candles, like kind of a minor thing, but I thought it was cool. And also this is like really smooth now, which is cool. It was actually like pretty janky earlier. That's done. Um, what else? I think that's it for this level. Next week is going to be setting up all the dev accounts, hopefully. I think we're at that point where we can start setting up dev accounts. Um, I think it's kind of like the last thing I need to do, so it might get pushed another week. What I mean by that is like a Google Play account, um, the Steam account, and the Apple account. Um, that needs to get done so I can sell the game and distribute it. The next thing is the cutscenes need to be finished with um, just mostly getting audio and sound effects on the cutscenes so they're less flat feeling. And I need to do a pop up after like level 7 that just like asks you to rate the game. I know it's like kind of annoying, but like ratings matter a lot. Getting ratings matter a lot to how they. Uh, recommend your game, and I think if it's just like once mid game, it's like not a big deal, and it's kind of already been like established as like a pretty normal thing. So that should actually be really easy because I already have like I already have something that's kind of doing a similar check, um, and that's pretty much it. I, this game is really close to being done. Um, one more thing I need to do is get the sloth and koala animations completed just like the redo animations. I want them to be more, uh, I don't know, consistent with the user interface. So we'll see. I have somebody kind of queued up for that and we'll see how like quickly they can turn around those types of things that kind of work. And after that, at least the mobile versions will be ready to publish. Um, I've been like trying to get on social media and just like publish information about my game and it's getting some traction so that's kind of cool but I don't know like ultimately how when it comes down to it like how many people will play it um hopefully a lot but I, mean, I thought I would be um getting more interest but I think once it's released I think I'll get more people interested in following so we'll see anyways that's pretty much it for this week